Oh, okay. It's been a great time hanging out with all the bums and stuff, but I think I'll talk to Oda oh, today. Really? What's up, Oda? How's it going? Luckily, nobody figured out I was sleeping in the park with a bunch of hobos. Yes, I did. So, I know I spent the past week talking about my paper clock to the point that I cut it all out of my filament video yesterday, but I finished it, and unfortunately it doesn't work. So, it doesn't actually keep time. I think it might have something to do with the way that either the escapement mechanism isn't quite shaped properly, or it's not mounted properly, and, um, the... Let's see if I can explain this. So the way a grandfather clock typically works is there's a weight on a string and that hangs around a shaft so that it, it puts torque on the shaft, makes it want to spin. And that connects into a gear, which through a couple different gears, at least for the one that I made, connects to an escapement mechanism, which is basically where there's something keeping the gear from turning. Um, and that's what the pendulum is. Uh, the pendulum connects into that so that as it swings back and forth, it allows that gear to turn so that the clock can turn. And that allows the main the main shaft to turn, which turns the hands and stuff. So, I think the problem is in the escape. And I don't really have anything to do with it. I, I don't know what I can do with that. <laughs> so I think it's just going to be wall art like I even took so I had 92 pennies and 16 nickels or it might have been 5 nickels um, a good amount of change spare change in the weight playing the part of the weight you know because that's about 11 grams worth of no not grams it's about 11 ounces of weight, 92 pennies and uh, 16, I want to say, quarters, not quarters, nickels, um, so, you know, but, yeah, it's just going to hang on my wall now, unfortunately, it will not tell time, but it sure looks cool, and I have it currently set to 420, because I am a cool guy, speaking of 420, are there women alive my age who aren't stoner potheads? Like, maybe this is me hyper-focusing, but, like, I think I've probably made remarks before about the, uh, the, um, cute, hot, sexy, uh, trifecta, where, like, uh, you, you get you get a max number of points or whatever and you can put them towards being cute hot or sexy I feel like hot and sexy are the same thing well, let's say cute hot pretty then this is going downhill really quick it's amazing how quickly I can shift from uh, talking about a paper clock to um, the way women look and act so I don't know why I'm even on some of the dating apps I'm on because they never go well um, like I'll have a conversation with somebody and they just will not text back you know I, I never understand that and then it's like well do I try and start something else you know at what point does it just kind of become pathetic when I'm trying to start a conversation for the fifth time and have no responses so that's fun that's really fun and then the rest of the time i spend on this app is basically just looking at like women um and by golly it it is actually hard harder than i would think to find one that isn't like a freaking pothead you know does everybody just smoke now is it the 40s again Except instead of cigarettes, it's weed. I don't get it. <laughs> but, whatever. Ah, Tachibana, how's it going? Thank you for taking me out of, you know, the conversation, the hole I was digging for myself just the past couple minutes. Oh my gosh, it's the top brass of the Tojo clan. 
Oh, wow, thank you. That's a great compliment to me. Wow, Takashi Nihara, acting second chairman of the Tojo. Only second? This place, this old organization hasn't been around all that long. Not near as long as you would think, given how many nice-looking chandeliers are in this one room. Oh, are you going to fight me? Are they going to fight? Please tell me they fight. I just stand at the side. I press the A button to raise my fist. And press the B button to say, Go, Dajibana! You know? Mm. If only. I gotta say, I kind of wish that I wasn't just talking over the dialogue most of this game. Like, I know what's going on, sort of, but not near as much as I ought. Yeah. What else do I have going on? I gotta maintenance my bike. You know, I haven't actually maintenanced it. Well, I've kind of maintenanced it. If we count airing up the tires as maintenance, then I've maintenanced my bike quite a bit. But I haven't really done much with my bike since I bought it. But I haven't really had it that long either, you know? It's a dang nice bike. I've had it almost a year now. Um, and I should probably make sure it's in tip-top shape. Like it's one of it's got one of them like 21 speed gear shifters and getting up to the third main gear, I guess the major gear or whatever. Sometimes real finicky, um, and you know it's uh it's the kind of thing that I'll see if I can fix myself. I don't see why not. I actually, God, when was that? I feel like my mom let me hang out with one of her biker friends to see how they were maintaining a bike back when I was like 15. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm confident that I can figure it out with enough uh, access to the internet, but you know, I don't want to mess the dang thing up. But that's what the internet's for. Why would they lie? So anyways, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'll probably clean it off with a bit of bleach and ammonia, and uh, I'll make sure to close all of the vents in my in my room and like put uh, put towels under the door just so that you know I don't mess. It's just so I don't uh, alarm anybody with the smell, you know, just in case. I also make sure to like lock my door and throw the key out the window and then shut the window and glue it closed, you know. Because that's, that's also important. I gotta say, digging holes is my favorite thing to do. I sure love doing this. I can't wait till I actually get in serious trouble for all the crap I spew on a weekly basis. Yeah, just kidding. I upload daily. Except on weekends, because what do you think I am? A heathen? I've considered streaming on Saturdays. I have a couple roguelike games that I like. Um, oh god, speaking of Roblox. Okay, I'll, I'll get into what I was just now thinking about. I swear, I'm going to make a mental note of that instead of going off track and not not addressing it later. Like I do all too often in these episodes. But I've got, let's see, what have I got? i got like Skull, the Hero Slayer, uh, the Binding of Isaac, um, Enter the Gungeon. What else do I have? I feel like I've got more than that, but I don't Dead cells. That's all five. <laughs> no, there, there's definitely more than that. But one that I've been waiting for, I'm waiting for it to come out. I really am. Uh, Hyper Light Breaker, which is supposed to be some kind of, at least based on how it is, or based on what I've seen of it, or what I've read. So, the Hyper Light Drifter people are making, um, like an MMO on a procedurally generated roguelike, uh, I don't remember if it's a story game or not, like, there was something about the way it was described that seemed not counterintuitive, but like, contradictory by nature some like the mixing of a procedurally generated roguelike and uh, I don't remember what it was 
Not an online game. Like, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to mix an online game and a roguelike. Please tell me that we don't have a bunch of heads in that box. Because that would be quite an escalation from what's been going down so far. There's not even a table in this room. I was going to make a joke about how this is like one of them Russian rooms with the vast... Oh, that's pretty nice. That Those are not the kinds of heads I was thinking of, but, you know, that works too. <laughs> Um, one of them, like, massively long tables, just absurdly long tables they have in, like, the Russian diplomat rooms or whatever, apparently. Those are funny. Those are fun to look at. <laughs> but there aren't even tables in here. They have chairs and no tables. Aren't y'all supposed to be, like, kneeling on the floor or something? Ah, whatever. Ooh, 30% of Kamurocho profits just so that they stop going after me. Tachibana sure likes my, the way I look. Oh, that I will. A billion yen, that's like a hundred thousand dollars. Probably one million, actually. It might even be ten million. I gotta remember which way the... The USD yen one goes. I forget if it's that like a dollar is about a hundred yen or that a dollar is about a thousand yen. I think it's about a hundred. So that would mean that's about a million dollars. One million dollars! You know, I'm not going to scoff at a million dollars by all means, but you know. <laughs> I'm going to be a millionaire someday, so this is really chump change. <laughs> I didn't say it was going to be from doing this, but you know, eventually I'll have a lot of money, I swear. After I stop hemorrhaging it. God, actually, hold on. I was about to say I keep spending money left and right, but like, the only example of like really spending money superfluously I have recently was that I went and got Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom at uh, the local GameStop on May 12th, 2023. Right? It's May? January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, it's May. You know how to spread a, spread a Yakuza's legs. <laughs> That's quite a line. Anyways. Mm. Sorry, drinking water. So what, let's see, what, I, what did I do? I realized I don't really play Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Super Mario Ars 3D All-Stars anymore. So I took those over to the GameStop to have them traded in. I actually got like 40 bucks for Super Mario All-Stars because that was a limited release. I completely forgot that it was a limited release, but it's not like I'm really going to play it anymore because I, I beat the games. So um, that was nice. Also surprising... I only got like 20 bucks for Legends Arceus, so I guess that wasn't actually a really popular Pokemon game. But you know, if it was, I might say that I'd still have it, so... It was worth it, because I got out of the store with freaking Legend of Zelda for $2. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the $2 was only because I got... I like had to... Um, I had to renew the... Um, uh, the, the, like, reward membership. I didn't have to, but it was basically free, is what I say, even though I literally just said that I had to pay money because of it. I forget what exactly happened there. Uh, let's see. Either way, I probably would have had to renew it if I was, like, if it was a negative bill anyways, because then it would be like store credit. Unless the guy was going to like slip me a GameStop gift card, but you know. With how often there are games that come out that are actually worth going out and getting, um, I'd probably completely forget about it and then treat it as if it doesn't have any money on it and toss it without realizing that it has money on it. Thus deflating the value of the currency, which is exactly what everybody should do. Go out and buy Visa gift cards and then burn them. Anyways. It's not illegal if it isn't cash. Isn't that kind of weird? Hold on. Is it illegal to deface currency in the United States? I know it's illegal in some places where it's like illegal to deface like depictions of Mao Zedong. You know? um, 
There might be a royalty thing in like Canada and the UK. Um, it, I would imagine it's there's something illegal about physically destroying currency. Um, but uh, at the same time, at some point, I heard that you can like have dollar bills replaced if they're damaged. Yeah. Are we gonna beat up all these guys? Are we gonna beat them all up? Stick with Tachibana while I throw myself into this crowd of people. I will beat them all up. And then I will beat them all up some more. Yeah! I knew he was gonna do it. I knew he was just gonna jump over that. That's the freaking superhero landing, my friend. Alright. Let's go. Finally, I get to beat people up in this episode. Okay, great. This is actually very good. So, let's see if I remember how to play the game. How do I play the game again? There we go. Ow. You know what would be really great for this? Um... Uh, you know, not being Kiryu, because the other guy has a lot of crowd control, and I don't. I, 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 I still actually really like that you can do the, the counter, but for other people. Like, I, it makes sense that that's the case, but, um, it's still, like, it's, like, funny to me that you can. There we go. That's a couple guys down. That's a couple more guys kind of down. Okay. I keep forgetting that resolute counter is an actual thing. Can, you can you can target guys in this game, right? I keep forgetting how to do that one. Hold on. There we go. Let me just like take this guy out as an intimidation tactic. That didn't work. Oh, I'm buying time? Is that what's happening? You know what? Beast style is actually pretty good crowd control. They're all mo <laughs> just crying. Cry about it, pal. How about you take that? Heat explosion. Get me the heck out of here. The counter is not doing me any favors. All right, we're we're switching styles here. Boink, 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 boink. There's another one down. Okay, there's another one down, and another one gone, and another one gone. So is the whole point for me to not get, like, these guys beaten up? Looks like- okay, never mind. I did, in fact, do it proper. Too dangerous to go back up. I gotta go this direction. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. What? Huh? What? Okay. Um, let's chug one of these. Oh. That didn't charge up my health at all. Oh, never mind. Yes, it did. You know what? How about I, uh... There we go. Uh, umbrella time. Ah! Uh, oh, never mind. They're they're my friends. I shouldn't hit them with an umbrella. If you're calling me a liar, you better you better be holding something stronger than an umbrella behind that door. Nine iron. You have a good day now. <laughs> Where's the nine iron in this game? Come on. Yeah, you you came here knowing the risks. 
I like how they took the money anyways. Assuming they did take the money, I wasn't paying attention, I was talking about, um... I'm probably still talking about, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. <sighs> Every time I play a, a game on my Switch, I... Some part of me wishes I had a TV in my room, but I know that I don't need one. You know? Waste of money. And, uh, if I did have a TV in my room, I wouldn't really have anywhere to put my bike when I keep it in my room. Like when I'm maintenancing it! Tomorrow, or the day after that. Because I'm probably going to have to. Nice, Oda's helping me out here. And so is Tachibana. Hey, hey, pal. Come here, you. Boink. Very nice. Kick him again. Say the line, Bart. <laughs> uh, was that a reference to anything? Not really. Yes, this is super cool. Loser. Anyways. Imagine getting beaten. There's only three of us. Come on. Oh, boy. Well, I got my umbrella. You know what? I'm gonna go beast style just because there's this nice, really big thing right here. And so many guys. Boink, boink, boink. There we go, very cool. Anybody else wanna get up? They, they literally disappeared into stacks of money. Oh, hey, and there's a guy right there and everything? Oh, god, I knew he had a gun. I saw it, and I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh boy, he has a gun. Hey, pal. Hand that over here. Oh god, I can actually... Huh. Um, <laughs> did I just throw it? I think I just threw it at him. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, he's not going down. He's also not attack- okay, there he goes. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting him to attack, like, way more, but he didn't. Whatever. I guess we're going this a direction, I see the glowing thing on the ground. Oh, never mind. That's a lie. Where the heck are we going? Oh, okay, never mind, here we are. Let's go, fellas. Don't I have a- I do! Alright. I should have just used that earlier. Hey, pal. It's not cool that you're roughing up my boss, man. So I'm gonna hit you with this cool pillar-looking thing that I found earlier. Alright, here we go. Gah! It didn't really do much, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting it to do way more. There we go. So is the shoulder tackle really just a I'm surrounded by a bunch of fellas kind of deal? You know? Ooh, swords! This is actually super cool and epic. Okay, then. Uh, okay. Samurai Kiryu. Oh, boy. Alright, I can absolutely spam the B button. That is 100% something I can do. Oh my gosh. Dang it, now now my Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me you're telling me that just because I switch styles, I drop my sword. You're telling me this guy's just gonna like absolutely kick my butt just because I Oh, and now the sword's broken? You're kidding me, right? How do I Okay. Never mind, I got it now. Hey, hey, hey! I see a broken stance! I also see a really low health bar for me. You know what else I see? Uh, your head on the ground. Ripe for the picking, my friend. And I'm taking your sword. There's literally nothing you can do about it. 
as long as it's still on the ground, of course. Please tell me. Please tell me there's like health behind this door or something. Oh, I'm fine. Negatiwaska. <laughs> Where's the sword? Where did the sword go? Oh, come on. Well, let's see here. Boink. You know, I probably should just take the, uh... There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Should probably go... There we go. Oh, never mind. That actually is not a good idea. Can I get through here? Anybody wondering why money is so big on the screen? Okay, here we go. Okay, it like puts them off balance or something, but it doesn't actually do much else. Alright, whatever, let's just go back to a uh, brawler. Hey you, I'm gonna take you to Pain Town. Hey, pal. <laughs> okay, Resolute Counter is pretty cool. I like it. Stay down, pal. Here, have a bit of this. It'll make you feel terrible. It's called My Fist, and it makes you feel terrible. Three, four, there we go. Hey, pal, have a taste of the, the steel fist of Kiryu Kazama, or whatever my name is. I always forget. Grab him! Nope. Ah, pal. None of I have anything to say about it, and I do, because I say things about a lot of stuff. Just watch the first half of this episode. I really say a lot of stuff. Am I done yet? Sorry. <clears throat> Had enough yet? Hey, pal, not cool. Tojo Clan Japanese Lantern? Oh, boy. Not if I have anything to say about it. And I do. Ow. Hey, pal. There we go. Oh, did did the rest of them take care of the rest of the guys? Are we doing the sword thing again? Keep an eye on Tajibana. Oda, throw me another sword, please. Ow. Hey, pal, can you, like, not have that? There we go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I just picked that, I, I was grabbing that guy's leg. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I was using that man as a weapon. I am going to do that. I am absolutely going to be doing that. Hold on, hold on. Hold the phone for a second. Hold on. Or that. That works too. Okay. I gotta knock one of these guys down so I can pick them right back up. Boink. Oh, dang. No, 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 no. You gotta just let me swing your friend around. Okay, hold on. I really don't like being cornered like this. So I'm going to corner them instead. Oh, okay, that works too. Boink, boink, there we go. Ah... That's what 3 million yen looks like. Just a thousand more of those and I can pay for my freedom. Don't I have like a billion? Have I got a billion yet?
And no, I don't I have like 30 to million. I think it's like 30 million yen. Hey, how's it going, dude? You know what's coming to you if you don't stop searching. <laughs> Kazuma. Oh, okay, we don't have the same surname. I could have sworn we had the same surname. Didn't? Okay, never mind. I thought it was that Kazuma adopted Kiryu. I mean, they, he grew up in a frickin' orphanage. He was an orphan. That was what I thought. So that would make him Kazama Kiryu, but he's Kazuma Kiryu. It's wacky. I did not know that. Anyways, please. You wanna show me a payphone? Oh, nice. We're not supposed to touch the man. Very cool. <laughs> of course, Kuze and Awano didn't see it coming. Who else would I be fighting for the rest of the game? Okay, well that answers my question of who I'm going to be fighting for the rest of the game. Oh, okay. Hey, who wants to save the game? Ooh, me, me, me. Sorry, guys, I had my hand up first. That means that I get to be the one that does it. Um, I didn't see anybody else raise their hands. And I'm the one that decides it. So, you know, uh, I guess it'll just have to be me. I'll have to be the one that does it. How much you want to bet um, this is actually the end of one of the chapters. And I'm going to have to sit through another couple of uh, unskippable cutscenes before I can save the game. But then again, it saves between chapters. So that should be perfectly fine. You're doing all right, pal. I bet that hand really hurts if you take it in the face in just the right way. I wonder what it's made out of. Probably metal. But, uh, possibly something, uh, that's easier to keep on your person at all times in contact with some amount of skin, like, uh, uh, plastic, I guess. Not that that's much better. I mean, like, metal smells, but plastic will, like... What will plastic do? I don't know if there's actually a, a explicit detriment to prolonged exposure to plastic on skin. I would imagine, probably, but, if, like, only insofar as there's a, a negative effect of prolonged exposure to, like, anything, really. The whole point of plastic is that it's not overly reactive. That's why it's used... Thing. Aside from being like heavily moldable. Um, well, whatever. That's neither here nor there. I'm not a plastic maker. All I know is that I've got a bunch of peanuts sitting in a plastic container up here. And you know what? That's just a segue to give me an excuse to eat peanuts during one of these episodes. How about y'all start reading? Because um, I'm not paying attention. I'm going to need y'all to keep me up to date with a lot of this crap. Um, later in the story, when there's like a massive pop quiz before the boss battle like in Banjo-Kazooie, you know, y'all better be keeping track of all the important details. I'm gonna need you, you know, because if you're not gonna do it, who will? I mean, I've got peanuts to eat, man. Oh, boy, those are good. I actually just got these. Oh, that was another thing I was going to talk about. I went and got uh, these at Walmart just because I live right next to the Walmart. One of the top ten Walmarts in the country for human traffic. But, um... I can't believe they don't sell um, Zatar, which is a Middle Eastern spice blend at Walmart. Who could have possibly seen this coming? So, I guess my Middle Eastern meatball and cauliflower and arugula platter will instead be slathered in cumin and thyme instead of za'atar. 
which I'm probably not pronouncing properly, but I don't know that I care all that much. I don't even know what all really falls under the moniker Middle East. I think it's Libyan specifically, and it's not spicy in case the fact that I'm substituting time and cumin for it didn't, you know, ensure that in your brains. Cumin's not spicy, and thyme definitely isn't. Is cumin spicy? I don't remember. I feel like cumin has like a mellow taste. There's spice to it. It is a spice, but it's not like a hot spice. I don't remember. Like I wouldn't be able to just kind of summon the taste of what what cumin tastes like. I wouldn't be able to. You know what? You know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of turmeric. I got some turmeric the other day because I was. It was like a, a Turkish fish um, dish that I was making, and there was a uh, oh just some wacky spice. I think it was Turkish spice blend. That might have even been the name. And they, of course, didn't have it at Walmart because Walmart is the least convenient place to get anything. Of any level of importance, I can't even find freaking. Uh, what, what can't I find? I can't even find Southwest seasoning at Walmart. So if you want a seasoning blend and you're going to Walmart, well, I hope you're making burgers on a grill, because other than that, they go on nothing. Um, unless you want to put like Tony Saturies on it, which ain't bad. Don't get me wrong, but if I'm looking for the container that says explicitly right on it, Southwest seasoning blend. Then I don't want to pick up Tony Saturies because that's Creole. That's different. Um, and instead, I just mix and match spices that I already have instead of paying five bucks for like two ounces of whatever in the hell is in. I don't even know which blend, you know, because I don't know what I'm doing. I know just enough about what I'm doing to do it the wrong way. <laughs> uh. It's basically the way I cook in a nutshell. Honestly, that is actually exactly what I do. You better make sure that car starts without blowing up. If this series, uh, if I know this series, anything about this series, you're in Asia. We will return to Little Asia. Does Japan not consider itself part of Asia? I get that it's an island and all, but like. I'm not going to put my foot in this, actually. I wouldn't be too terribly surprised, I guess. But that'd be like if you went to Michigan, and you were like, well, isn't this a little America, you know? And you're referring to Canada, you know? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, none, of the, none of the countries in... Well, let me think. Aside from Australia, there aren't really any countries that are named after the continent besides America. Let me think about if that's actually the case. I'm not going to say Africa because Africa isn't a country. You, the both of you got out of the way in the wrong direction. Anyways, what am I? What? Look where? What's happening? Oh, I see. Where where am I looking? Oh, okay, here we are. Hey, let's let's beat up some fellas. It's been a little while, you know. I should probably intervene. This is gonna be a long one, and I don't care, because you know. You're gonna teach me something? I'm like head and shoulders above you, pal. And also, you're ugly and fat. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're not supposed to use fat as an insult. Shut up. Take a walk. <laughs> Anyways. Um, this pole is way too big to be really functional as a... Yeah, how about that, pal? I'm gonna grab you. I said I was gonna do it, so I did. I'm gonna do it again. It'd be really nice if this guy, like, didn't get up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Boink. Very cool. I gotta say, beast style is a fun thing. I won't do it again! God, I gotta say, this is my favorite, um, you know, slightly B, B Manwa plot point, where you just beat the crap out of everybody and they all respect you from the bottom of their heart, because that makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. Boy, do I love being the most powerful character in this entire series. Ah. Uh, well, this has sure gone on long enough. On the next episode of Yakuza 0, I'm going to do something. I'm actually not even sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Little Asia. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I will. I swear I'm gonna. I sure would. Yep. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.